Hi, my name is Mary Ann Grondon reporting for Expo Press. Today I'm here with Greg Shin, Research Director at Expo. So Greg, can you tell us why OSNR is so important? Well, OSNR in fact is probably the single most important metric for characterizing optical signals in a field environment. The noise in the optical signal noise ratio arises principally from optical amplifiers. And then in the case of WDM networks, when there's multiple signals, uh, the, especially when these are in a mesh type architecture, these signals can come from different locations, pass through a different number of amplifiers, and the optical signal to noise ratio can be different for each of these signals corresponding to a different channel. In the uh, traditional networks that have been used uh, up to a few years ago, uh, typically there was only one signal or a few widely spaced signals being sent over a signal optical fiber uh, and these uh, being sent over the, from the same points in the optical fiber. And consequently one could use what was called the interpolation method with an OSA which allowed one to measure the OSNR very accurately. This, however, is completely impossible in more modern networks uh, using closely spaced channels, tightly filtered channels, and even worse, when the different signals are coming from different points, uh, such as the case in a mesh network. Hence, the OSNR still remains a very important parameter to be measured, but traditional methods just don't work very well. Can you give us some ideas on how Expo does it? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, perhaps just as a bit of perspective, say that there have been some techniques that have been developed for measuring within these narrow channels. An example is a method known as the polarization extinction method, which basically uh, is, a, is an OSA-based method where one uh, needs to nearly completely extinguish the optical signal down to maybe 20, 30 dB uh, in order to measure the un underlying noise level. Unfortunately, Doing that in practice is a very time-consuming, very inefficient way. Uh, what Expo has done in our the, the algorithms that have been in, uh, that are being placed in our commercial products is using a new technique that uh, is uh, essentially leverages small differences. Well, they could be big or small, but they only need to measure small differences in certain key parameters, such as polarization differences between the signal and the underlying noise, uh, the spectral shape characteristics, etc. And using these small differences and these patented algorithms, we can greatly leverage uh, a small measured difference to arrive at what the underlying noise value is in a signal and get OSNR values as low, or as high I should say, as 25 or 30 dB and perhaps even higher. Well, thank you, Greg. That was very interesting. Thank you for telling us about the OSNR. My pleasure. For more information, visit exo.com.